save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! And I was just about to say let's get started, but I just received a very generous tip. I received a $40 tip from Jordan. Okay, I received a very generous $50 tip. Thank you for the chill Stardew Valley stream. Wow. By the way, thank you, Only Eyes Coffee. I have no aspirations to get rich, to, to, get, to get big. I have none, none of that. I don't care about any of that, you know? Oh, how do I scam my audience with a new a new scheme of things to make money and stuff? No, it's literally never been that way, ever. Um, No, no matter how people want to spin it, you're never going to find that kind of evidence or anything. It doesn't exist, you know? Like, the, the one time ever that I really disappointed my audience was when I first started on Patreon, right? And I said I was going to, I was interested in rebooting Project 7, right? And then it fell apart, like... The idea fell apart. People weren't really that interested in it to begin with. So I stopped I stopped working on it and said, we're going to do other stuff because you guys are saying uh, that you'd much rather see me do other things than Project 7 again. So I just dropped it. And there was literally one person, one fan who legitimately was angry at that. No one else was. Sure. So that one person complained. We had it out. We talked a little bit. And after a while, they decided to leave my community for a while because they were so upset that I was didn't doing Project 7. Outside of that, no one else cared. But of course, my detractors made a big, big deal out of it, right? So, and that was like the one thing ever, and that was for a few hundred dollars. No lie, it was like $300 or something like that. That was it. Never have I said, hey, everyone invest in this and do that and do this, and I get a cut of this and scan, you know, referral code this and buy this and do that. I, I, I don't do that shit, you know? So... I had to lie about things because I had to protect my family. Right? The fact that you're even saying Boogie had cryptocurrency, the fact you're saying that is like, what human on earth who's intelligent would invest money in a Boogie cryptocurrency? <laughs> right? So now to unwind from the stressful Street Fighter and do this tonight was absolutely perfect. It hit the spot, as they say. Right? Okay. So guys, thank you all. Next time around... Big rainstorm, and we'll see how we handle that. But in the meantime, be safe, have fun, and uh, peace out. See you guys later. Here we go, here we go. Let's get some pulls. Come on. Pull the gotcha. Pull on my gotcha. Come on. You know we got to get some pulls. But yesterday, sadly, uh, a former very longtime fan of mine passed away. And so I did a tribute video to this person because I used to be very friendly with them. I used to have conversations with them. They were very influential in the accessibility community for video games. So I made a five minute demonetized, well not demonetized, unmonetized separate tribute video on this channel for that person. Now, why did I do that? Because I've now been around for a long time and I know that if you're gonna do something like that, you absolutely make sure that it's not part of monetized content, right? If I'm gonna do a tribute video to someone, no one should be making money or getting clicks and stuff based on that. It should just be a heartfelt tribute just for the sake of doing it because it's the right thing to do. Right? I want to leave a remembrance of this person because they were special to me. And I think they were special people, a special person to a lot of people. And he deserves to be immortalized in a way by having someone talk about them in that way. So I made this video outside of my stream, outside of any other content. And I purposefully made it that that was what I had to say. And I didn't talk about it all day long on purpose because I didn't want any monetization of any content regarding that. Right? That's why I did it that way. Okay? I uploaded the video before I even streamed yesterday, completely unmonetized. All right? And I went about my way during the day. That's the definition of a drama queen, seriously. And of course, again, like I said, there's nothing going on with me drama-wise at all. So what happens? Literally those unhinged, insane, greedy, insanely immoral people made lies up about it, saying that I monetized the video, uh, once again I'm trying to make money off of the deceased, and all of that. Literally zero realm of reality. Never happened. But they all said it in insanely lying, defamatory videos. What they don't realize is they could outright be fucking sued for it right now because it's 100% factually wrong. There's a difference between taking something that kind of happened on a stream and exaggerating it to make drama content, to make money on YouTube, or outright lying about someone because you want to make a buck. That's illegal. In no realm of reality can you do that, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair donations.
yeah, so the video's been demonetized, and it's funny because people leave in comments, why is this monetized? It, it, all you have to do is look at the video. There's no ads on it. It's not a monetized video. Like, what are you talking about, right? So here, here's the, the best part about it. So since it's not monetized, what happens is some people actually started calling it out and saying, wait a minute, it's not monetized. You outright made videos saying it was monetized when it's not. That's a lie. That could get you in trouble on YouTube. That could get you sued. What do you think you're doing? So guess what they did? They changed the narrative. Oh, well, you, what about super thanks? So it's monetized. What? Super thanks. You mean a feature that anyone who's partnered on YouTube has and is channel-wide and you can't turn off on videos? What the fuck are you talking about? So you see what I mean? When the narrative gets pushed back to them, like, what are you talking about? You're completely dishonest scumbags. They then change the narrative to try to save face when in reality, the narrative never existed to begin with, right? So, but this is what I mean. This is what they do when there's nothing going on because this year has been very good. There's been no drama. I've avoided, there was going to be drama. Trust me, like I said, that, that documentary that I almost was involved in and I completely dodged that bullet and decided, you know, with, the, you know, a lot of good feedback from everyone, you know, from my family members, from you guys, everyone said, don't do it. And I said, you know what? That was a great choice. I got out of that, stopped it from happening. And here we are. And it's just been me making content all year. No drama. Man, they're trying. Let me tell you. And every day people come on my streams. Oh, what about the review tech drama? Key logging, blah, blah, blah. What about, uh, you know, Boogie and his, his cryptocurrency scams and shit? I, I don't care. Why would I care about any of that? If anything, I'm, I'm actually legitimately looking forward this june the king documentary that's going to come out about me in august because what i want to do is go down my entire history and look at the stuff that i've done that's both good and bad and honestly react to it i know a lot of it's going to be bad duh like how stupid can you be if someone does contribute i will shout it out i'm just saying if you contribute now it helps out my react show so that way during the react show i don't have to sit there and be like oh guys please contribute you know it is a normal streaming day for me i look to hit 50 bucks every stream in tips. So if you could contribute today, that would be very much appreciated. But right now, there's nothing, nothing. Disgusting beggar. So it makes me like, I just don't enjoy wrestling anymore. You know, they actually killed any enjoyment I could have got out of it because they gave me this huge negative association in my head. I even think about it I'm like, oh, drama, nonsense, toxicity, lies, and all the shit that I've had to put up with for so long. And I don't want to care about it anymore. You know, that's just the truth. It's sad, but true. So, I just don't care about pro wrestling. I don't, even though this game very well could be really good, I, I don't care. I don't even want to fucking touch it with a million foot pole because I just don't want to deal with that bullshit again. I'm, I'm already done talking about it. I'm past it. I don't want to go back there. So, I don't want to even fucking bring it up in order to, to have more morons get stirring it up again about the nonsense. Okay? Use the link in the description if you want to check it out on YouTube. And that's it. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. They didn't really answer the question, did they? I thought they were going to, they didn't really answer the question of why do gay people sound like that at all. You know, I guess the best answer would be, yeah, because it differentiates yourself from straight people if you want people to know in a social circle that you're gay. <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> that was good. Rapid Shots came by and supported with a $31 tip. Says, I can't stay too long. I wanted to stop by and support your stream. Have a good day. Shout out to Only Iced Coffee. I hope that you enjoyed the show. I will see you next week, same time, same place. If you want to be a part of the show, become a member today. Either submission, super, or ultra tiers. All get their videos. Uh, a chance to be watched with ultra being guaranteed. All right, thanks. I'll see you for episode 72 next weekend. Bye-bye. No, Phil. Here's what you do. You get fired. And someone else steps into your role who knows how to run a company. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me it's WWE champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>